Oh my gosh, so first of all, hi, welcome back to the vlog. I am so excited. So Summer and I just came back from going to Target, the base place, and I just found something so delicious and it actually is keto friendly and I'm personally so excited. So I'm someone that I don't mind cooking things, like I cook all the time, literally all the time, but I don't mind either when I find something that's like pre-made. These are freaking amazing. So these are the FOMO Nomo. Then it's, I don't know if the brand is high key. I don't know, it says FOMO, <laughs> FOMO Nomo and high key. Don't know which one the brand actually is. Anyways, they're mini cookies. And they have, like this one has two net carbs per serving. This is their chocolate chip mini cookies. And then this one is their snickerdoodle mini cookies that only has one net carb per serving. Each bag comes with two servings, and each serving is eight cookies. <sighs> I've been raving about these ever since I got them, and <laughs> opened them up in the car and ate them. So let me show you one of the cookies. So this is one of the chocolate chip cookies, and it's so good. Like, oh my. It's like Keto Chips Ahoy meat. Make a baby. Baby cookies. Per serving, there's 14 grams of fat and eight grams of protein. So ratio wise, that's really good, I think. So, and then I did try both of them because if you can't notice, both of them are opened. Um, the Snickerdoodle's good, but my favorite is definitely the chocolate chip. That one is delicious. So I'm excited about that. I was so hyped when I tried it that I was like, I gotta tell the vlog because it's so good. So yeah. That's the excitement that I have. Also from Target, I got some light bulbs and some fabric storage bins. So we are going to organize with these and put these up later today. But for right now, I am hungry, so let's make some dinner. We are doing a Mongolian beef tonight. It is one of this household's favorite meals. Um, and so we're pretty excited about that. Let's get cooking. So I have been marinating some flat iron steak. This is about a pound um, for probably about an hour and a half now. The marinade is just a quarter cup of coconut aminos. I put these two in there, some crushed garlic and then crushed ginger. I put two of these cubes in there because these are amazing. And then one of these cubes in there because again, amazing. These are amazing. If you haven't tried them, Trader Joe's, please try them. They will change your life. And so, like I said, it's been marinating for about an hour and a half, so super good marinade. And let's go ahead and fry this up. Yay! All right, we're gonna add some avocado oil to the pan. It's probably about a tablespoon. Turn it on to about a medium high heat because we want the steak to sizzle. All right, so I've been letting this sit for a couple minutes and it's getting pretty hot. So we're gonna go ahead and add the meat to it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the steak. or sauce that's in the back so that it kind of gets all the flavor so that also soaks with the other meat. So 
every year I have rice heating up for Summer and Tyler because they're going to have rice in it. I'm going to use that leftover kind of um, marinade and stuff and heat up some leftover broccoli in there. So, we get good flavors. that literally took me 15 minutes like it's recording how long it took 15 minutes I mean the marinade even like throwing that together takes like five minutes so really it's like a 20 minute meal you just have to make sure to let the marinade sit for I would say at least 30 minutes it's recommended for an hour but at least 30 for sure so I'm excited here let me give you a close-up this is what the broccoli looks like and then this is what the meat looks like oh my gosh it looks so good I'm so excited look how good that looks yes and then, like I said, I heated up some rice for Tyler in summer. So, we're going to eat this, and it's going to be delicious. And I'm so excited. I got these new lights, and I'm going to go ahead and replace some of our dead light bulbs that we have up here. Because our apartment complex does not do that. <laughs> Here for a while. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell. There is one that's like still yellow. Clearly, it just needs to be replaced. But these bulbs were like $13 just for two of them. So I was waiting to get another one to make sure I actually liked these ones, also to see if I actually like them. So, and I do. So, the next thing I got from Target were these bins. And let me show you where they're gonna go or where I'm thinking about putting them. I'm hoping that they fit. Let me show you. All right, so here is my nightstand. Right now there's a brush, some Lily's chocolate, a bottle, a tape measure, because I was measuring out this down here area earlier, a pen, and some receipts. Um, and that picture of me and Tyler, they look so cute. And my Fitbit charger. But anyways, so I was trying to find something to kind of add storage here, because this is just very empty space. And I can't figure out why to really make it cute. <laughs> Um, so I figured I would go ahead and just try to create it into some space. So let's go ahead and try to see how this will look. Yay, it fits perfect. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's so exciting. And I got one with a lid, so you couldn't really see like what was inside of it from the top since the top is like see-through, clearly, because you can see the chocolate I was talking about. It's Lily's chocolate though, so we're sticking keto with that. But, uh... I'm so happy. I was so nervous that wouldn't. So this is really exciting to me. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side. Kind of sucks I just realized that that was on manual focus and not autofocus. In case you guys don't know how to actually put these together, they're super easy. You love something that's easily put together. Wow, this lighting is amazing. I'm so happy. All right, so here's the foldable. You fold it out, right? Right? And then inside the lid is actually the bottom. So you put the fabric side up, cardboard side down, put it in there. And this is a equally like 12 and a quarter by, oh wait, it's 12 by 3 fourths. 12 by 3 fourths by 12 by 3 fourths. So there's no like specific way to put that in there. And then the lid. It's perfect. Ah, I'm so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. In case you guys wanted to know what I look like with purple lipstick. Mm. It was summer's, but I wanted to try it on. So I don't think purple is the best look on me for lips, but Summer had in her room. I saw it. I wanted to try it. So here we go. Anyways, it is the next day and I am in my room, clearly. My bed's right here my wonderful bed it's been my best friend all throughout quarantine i've been working on trying to organize the room i want to give you guys an update and just say hey hi it's the next day hey 
Um, I wanted to show you guys my purple lips. Yay! It's it's gonna be so hard to get this off. I mean, some of it comes off. It's not gonna be that hard. Never mind. As you guys remember from yesterday, oh my gosh, I'm still obsessed with it. I love having this. And it just creates space where I didn't think I had space, which is just super convenient. Like, super convenient. So, I'm about to take this off because I'm done with purple lips. I'm going to watch some YouTube and I'm going to organize my room. And then I will give you guys like an overview of it once it's done. The air just turned on. That's awesome. I was going to get it all done yesterday, but Tyler has been trying to teach me that I don't need to get things done all at once. Let me know if this is relatable for you guys. Like, I'm one of those that when I when I start cleaning, like, I have to finish. Like, I have to finish it all up. Like, it's got to be spotless. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be beautiful. And then I exhaust the heck out of myself. Um, by the time that I'm done with it, my back is hurting, I'm tired, I'm usually probably cranky in some sort of way, and it's just, it gets pretty bad at times. So let me know if you're the same way, because that's how I've always been, even like previous roommates have like said something about it where they're like, you know, you don't have to clean up everything in one setting, and I'm like, no, go, 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 go. It's just done to get it, it's best to get it done and over with, right? So. I'm going to finish what I started yesterday because Tyler's not here, so I can. And yeah, I'm going to do my bedroom, the bathroom, the closet, and yeah. I'll show you guys how my room looks after it's all done and without purple lipstick on the next time because I don't like it. So I said I was going to clean, but Heike have been sitting in my butt for the past 20 minutes just watching YouTube. So. I know what motivates me, and vlogging does. So I'm gonna go ahead and vlog with you guys, clean with me in my bedroom. Don't come at me with how messy my bedroom gets all the time. We are quarantined. We are living here 24 seven. So let's go ahead and get started on this clean with me. It's been a minute since we did something like this. So let's do this.
right, it's done. Well, I really didn't do de clean. I just did it clean because it just at least needed that much. I'm just really tired now. But we are clean. Battery is dying. So we're going to do this really quick. So my floor of my closet's clean. I'm not showing you the rest because it's all messy. <laughs> but so the floor is at least cleaned off. And then here's the room. Honestly, guys, there's just so much stuff and not enough storage in this apartment. So the bed's made. Over here is kind of my desk setup. I have to have that computer right there because that's my work laptop for work. I did clear off this area yesterday and so I think it looks so much better because now it's just clean and nice. And I, there's these cute pictures of me and Tyler. Over here is a setup. This is our old, um, our old coffee table for our living room and so I just have these two bins underneath it to just kind of, again, create storage. And so yeah. This is the overview of our clean room. But like for example, like these are games. I don't know where to put them because my closet's full, his closet's full. Like our closets are just full, man. So we're trying to come up with an idea of that. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But yeah, I'm kind of liking it. Yay. The queen has joined me in <laughs> sitting here and editing and watching YouTube. So. That's the update. I'm just excited. That's like clean. Tyler came home, so he left his work shoes over there. What? But it just it feels nicer now that it's clean. I think she likes it too. Also, I actually think she just more so likes having this blanket right here. But you know, we love comf. She's one of us. <laughs> hey guys. So it is a little while later, and Tyler and I are about to go on a miniature road trip. Sorry, you're looking at my broom and dustpan back there. Um, we are about to drive from Oklahoma City to Tulsa, which is about an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> and it is currently 9.30, just about. And so my brother is coming in to Tulsa about 11, 11.30ish. So we're gonna pick him up and then drive him back. And then he's gonna stay with my mom. But we're gonna go on a little mini adventure because why not? on a Thursday night when I have work tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> so let's go on a mini adventure. Yeah. Okay, so I just ran inside 7-Eleven <laughs> while Tyler went ahead and filled up the tank. I am having a bang because I'm so tired. Like I said, it's like almost, it's a little bit, uh, it's probably like 9.45 now. <laughs> And so I got, I grabbed the Bang Peach Mango one. I've actually never had this flavor before, but I am a sucker for anything peach and mango. So I am actually highly excited about this. So, and then Tyler went ahead and got some Reese's Cups because that's what he requested that he wanted. So let's do this thing. I'm gonna also jam out to some really awesome tunes because that's what I do on road trips, so. Yay! Okay, so we turn around really quick because I have to pee. Hi, I'm on our way again. The girl feels rejuvenated. Also, I have to grab my phone charger for the car, but we are going now. Now it's being done. We're headed to Hot Tulsa. So, okay, we turn around from 7 Eleven because your girl had to go, but going now. Yeah. So, right now we're taking a bit of a detour. Tyler wants some Taco Bell in between Oklahoma City and Tulsa. It's like an hour and 45 minute drive and there really is no Taco Bell in between because there's like nothing in between. I think there's like a Sonic, a McDonald's, burgers, but he wants tea breezy. So we're in a quote unquote short line for Taco Bell right now. So that is our little detour, but here I am just drinking on my bang. And my face is red because the guy's bricks in front of me. See? Not as red. Yeah. We're back. I'm so tired. It's like 
in the morning. I have to work tomorrow at 7. Um, so yeah, but we made it back safely. It was a good time. We like basically talked the entire time on the way home. So super fun time. And yeah, I'm tired. I don't know what else to say. So I'm going to end this vlog here. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what your favorite color is. Alright, love you guys. Bye. What was that? <laughs>